I do my best and God does the rest. I call it a covenant made in heaven, a divine partnership, a partnership that will never fail because God gave us the rules, the terms to ensure a smooth operation and to clarify our roles. That's a hell of a lot of words in a few sentences. Friends, I'm coming to the end of this great epistle written by Apostle Paul. That's right, Ephesians. And I'm going again into chapter 5. And Paul, towards the end of chapter 5, Paul talks about spirit guided relationships. That's right. It's all about, friends, united families, a united church, a divided family, a divided church. After all, it's the families that make up the church. And when it comes to husbands and wives, it's about submission, it's about love. That's right. And Paul says, wives, submit to your husbands. No, I didn't say be a slave to you. Submit to your husbands. And he says, for husbands, this means love your wives, just as Christ loved the church. Everything is Christ-centered. Therefore, Paul starts with and said, and further submit to one another out of reverence for Christ. Verse 21, when it comes to children and parents, he starts off with, children obey your parents because you belong, that's right, to the Lord. Again, centered around the obedience and submission to Christ Jesus. For the husbands, it's about love. Just as Christ loved the church, we got to love our wives unconditionally. And yes, friends, Paul talks about slaves and masters. Really, in modern day thinking, it's reference to those in authority to whom we fall under such authority. He starts off in verse 5 of chapter 6. Slaves, obey your masters with deep respect and fear. Serve them. Again, there's a coming, it's coming out. Sincerely as you would serve Christ. That's right. It's about respect. It's about obedience. I do. That's right. My best. And God does the rest. I know what my role is. I know what God's role is. Together we have a great relationship. And my relationships with others also improve when I know who I am. What an awesome, awesome, awesome way, friends, to have this partnership with God. It will never fail. Are you failing in your relationships at the moment? Are you a person where people don't want to come near? They just want to avoid you. Are you that person where they love to be around you? It's start to start looking inside again, friends. God will do the rest. You do the best and God will do the rest. Mighty God and Heavenly Father, Papa, again we come in no other name but of your Son, Jesus Christ. Help us today, Dad, that in everything that we do, we will give off our best and more because that's what you demand from us even with our worship we lord help us not to be haphazard but to be genuine coming to worship you in spirit and in truth with our father relationships with our spouses with our children our parents help us lord to submit help us to obey father and help us to respect Father, we can't do this on our own. We have 
that partnership with you. And if we put you first, then all other things fall into place. Father, I'm reminded of that scripture. Seek ye first in Matthew 6, 33, the kingdom of God and its righteousness and all other things, including our relationships, will be added unto us. Father, correct our paths. We willingly ask you to guide us and take control. I speak that. I declare it. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Friends, once again, my time's up. So until next time, this is Pastor Henry Samuels, praying that you remain touched and changed in Jesus' mighty name. Stay blessed.